The Big Magnesium Mistakes People Are Making Magnesium supplements have become very popular for improving sleep, relaxing muscles, preventing cramps, lowering blood pressure, and even regulating heart rhythms. However, many people make critical mistakes when using these supplements, leading to wasted money and ineffective results. Magnesium plays a crucial role in over 300 enzymatic reactions in the body, affecting energy production, nerve function, and muscle contractions. Let's go through the most common magnesium mistakes and how to use this mineral properly. Mistake number one. Using the wrong type of magnesium. There are many types of magnesium supplements, but not all of them are well absorbed by the body. One of the most common but least effective forms is magnesium oxide, which has a very low absorption rate of only 4% and often causes digestive issues. Instead, consider choosing the right type for your needs. Magnesium glycinate, highly bioavailable, best for reducing anxiety, muscle cramps, and irregular heartbeats, with an absorption rate of about 80%. Magnesium L-theronate, the only form that crosses the blood-brain barrier, making it excellent for brain health, memory, and cognitive function. Magnesium citrate, works well for relieving constipation by drawing water into the intestines and promoting bowel movements. Magnesium taurate, supports heart health by stabilizing blood pressure and improving cardiovascular function. Magnesium chloride, improves magnesium levels and supports digestion and metabolism. Magnesium malate, helps with muscle fatigue, chronic pain, and energy production by supporting ATP synthesis. Magnesium sulfate, Epsom salts, used externally for muscle relaxation, detoxification, and reducing inflammation through transdermal absorption. Mistake number two. Taking the wrong dose. Many magnesium supplements contain doses that are too low to be effective. The recommended dietary allowance, RDA, for magnesium varies by age and gender. Men. 400 to 420 milligrams per day. Women. 310 to 320 milligrams per day however, people with digestive issues, diabetes, chronic stress, or severe deficiencies may need 800 to 1600 milligrams, split into smaller doses throughout the day to improve absorption and reduce potential digestive discomfort. Mistake number three. Expecting immediate results. Magnesium can provide quick relief for muscle cramps, but correcting a chronic deficiency takes time. Since about 60% of the body's magnesium is stored in bones and 39% in muscles and soft tissues, it can take at least 3 months to fully restore optimal magnesium levels. Consistency is key. Mistake number 4. Relying on blood tests. Only 1% of the body's magnesium is found in the blood, with the remaining 99% stored in bones and cells. This means that a standard blood test is not an accurate way to check magnesium levels. Instead, watch for deficiency symptoms such as chronic anxiety or irritability, frequent muscle cramps and twitches, high blood pressure and irregular heartbeats, sleep disturbances, such as waking up frequently, fatigue and low energy levels. Mistake number 5. Missing key cofactors. Magnesium absorption depends on vitamin D3, vitamin B6, and adequate hydration. Vitamin D3 helps transport magnesium into the bloodstream and improves absorption. Vitamin B6 enhances magnesium uptake into cells, boosting its effectiveness. Water ensures proper magnesium distribution throughout the body. Mistake number 6. Eating too many processed foods. Certain foods can block magnesium absorption or cause excessive magnesium loss. These include phytic acid, found in whole grains and legumes, binds to magnesium and prevents absorption. Refined sugars increase magnesium excretion through urine. Vegetable seed oils and processed foods cause inflammation and disrupt mineral balance. Eating magnesium-rich whole foods like meat, fish, vegetables, and nuts supports optimal levels. Mistake number 7. Consuming too much caffeine, soda, or alcohol. Caffeine increases cortisol levels, raising the body's demand for magnesium. Alcohol reduces magnesium absorption in the gut and increases urinary excretion. Soda contains phosphoric acid, which disrupts magnesium balance, leading to bone loss, stiff arteries, and high blood pressure. Mistake number 8. Ignoring dietary magnesium. While supplements help, food should be the primary source of magnesium. Some of the best natural sources include 
leafy greens, spinach, kale, Swiss chard, pumpkin seeds, one of the richest sources, wild-caught salmon, also rich in omega-3s, almonds, high in magnesium and vitamin E. Dark chocolate, 85% or higher, contains flavonoids and magnesium for heart health. Mistake number 9. Ignoring gut health. Poor gut health reduces magnesium absorption. Conditions like IBS, leaky gut, and IBD impair nutrient uptake. Beneficial bacteria such as Lactobacillus plantarum and Bifidobacterium bifidum help improve absorption. Eating fermented foods like kimchi, sauerkraut, and kefir can restore gut health and optimize magnesium levels. Mistake number 10. Poor timing of magnesium supplements. The best time to take magnesium depends on your goal. For general health, divide doses throughout the day. For sleep, take two hours before bed to enhance relaxation and melatonin production. For brain function, take in the morning and early afternoon. For digestion, take magnesium citrate after meals to improve bowel movements. Mistake number 11. Overfasting. Intermittent fasting can deplete magnesium levels due to lower dietary intake. To maintain electrolyte balance, supplement with magnesium, potassium citrate, and sea salt. If fasting leads to heart palpitations, twitches, or cramps, reduce fasting duration and increase magnesium intake. Mistake number 12. Drinking desalinated water. Groundwater contains magnesium salts, essential for heart function, muscle relaxation, and bone health. However, desalinated water removes these minerals, increasing deficiency risk. If you live in an area with desalinated water, magnesium supplementation is crucial. Side effects and safety. Magnesium is generally safe, but poor quality forms, like oxide or carbonate, can cause nausea, diarrhea, low blood pressure, confusion, and irregular heartbeats, especially in people with kidney disease. High quality forms like glycinate, malate, and taurate have fewer side effects. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, share and subscribe to my channel. Also, I'd love to hear from you. Drop a comment below about what magnesium supplement you're currently using.